I don't even know what mile I'm on, but uh, this trail is fun. It's fast. It's a lot better than I thought. And it's definitely got some scary technical parts that I'm not going to do today. But uh, yeah, man, sometimes when you're on these trails and you just see something like this beside you or in the background, foreground, you just got to stop and just take a look. You know what I mean? It's beautiful out here. But it's also dangerous. And that's the thing about these Florida trails, man. You just never know what may be lurking in these bushes or behind some of these trees, because I've seen it. These alligators are real out here. These cougars are real out here. I heard there's panthers out here. And anything else wild that may be out here, from wild turkeys to boars, you just never know. I know I see some animal footprints from time to time too, so I know stuff's out here, so. But anyway, just had to take a quick break. And uh, yeah, this trail so far, man, I think I'm maybe at least two miles in. This is, this is a nice trail. Definitely will be back here. But one thing it's letting me know, I gotta get some better breaks for the Colorado. What's going on YouTube? back at it again today and today i'm at palm coast florida at graham swamp so this is actually um my first time at this particular trail don't know much about it i uh, just decided to kind of go outside of orlando a little bit and explore i think from what i read it's about seven miles long and it's pretty uh technical so we'll kind of see how it goes today today i am riding the um i'm riding the colorado today uh, I've, I've been riding the uh, Specialized a lot and so I decided to give it a break and bring out the Colorado again but the cool thing about today is um, this is the first time I've actually rode the Colorado in a while I haven't rode it with the new bottom bracket and I haven't rode it with the new Maxxis tires and uh, I got the Minions um, DHRs I'm sorry DHFs on there uh, today so should be interesting to ride. This is going to be a, a different feel for the bike. And so I'm excited about it um, to test everything out. I'm sure it'll do well. So, you know, like I always call that thing the beast. So it'll go over any anything. I'm not really worried about as far as anything on the trail today. So um, it's kind of late in the day. I got it to a late start. It's like 2.30. So um, sorry if the lighting is dim. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna check out this trail. I'll do a review afterwards, let you know my thoughts, and I'll see you on the trail.
get it.
Okay, YouTube. So, hey, today um, it's the actual next day after uh, I went to Graham Swamp in um, Palm Coast. And uh, <laughs> kind of a crazy, couple of crazy stories that happened. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this the next day, well, I, I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, as far as the trail goes, awesome. I will definitely be back there again. I thought that um, just it being a seven mile trail, it wouldn't be that difficult. Thought I'd probably finish it within an hour. It took about an hour and a half, maybe hour 40 minutes. And the reason why is because it was really hilly. And I would say around mile, it's, it's about seven miles long and around mile four, I just started walking up the rest of the hills, man. I, I couldn't even do it anymore. There was one, actually I think two hills that was such a steep incline that it actually even had a um, uh, a multiple uh, side trail just for an easy way out because they, whenever you see a trail that actually has that sign posted like, hey, it's, um, you know, take this easy way out instead, you know it's pretty difficult. So my, uh, my legs were pretty, pretty done after about the halfway mark. I just wasn't expecting those kind of inclines in that, on that trail. Uh, but it was fun. That was a fun trail. So here's the crazy thing. I started the trail around maybe 2.30, 3 o'clock and the sun just seemed like it was going down pretty fast. You know, by the time I finished, it was almost five o'clock and uh, I think the sun sets around six. So I was hoping to get out of there before the sun set because I thought I was I, I was going the right way, but there were times where I didn't know if I was still going the right way or if I backtracked or if I was on another trail. I really didn't didn't know what was going on. So the last thing I wanted to do is get stuck out there and lost in those woods when it turned dark. Another thing is that uh, there was a, a, a crew of people, probably about a crew of four that were out there, but they... Um, kind of started the trail before me it seemed like they skipped some parts of the trail i ended up passing them and then i didn't see them anymore so i don't i don't know what happened with them but uh that's why i was just kind of worried about being out there by myself i didn't see anyone else out there besides that crew of people so um yeah it was a uh, it was it was a fun trail now here's the crazy part so right towards the end i'd probably say around mile six there was a drop and there's some steep drops there's actually i think three double black diamond drops that just look like death like if you try it you're going to die um but right beside those drops there were uh a one black diamond right beside it which was you know a little bit more safer for me anyway but anyway right before the last drop the last drop when you finish that trail there's two drops there's a double black diamond and a black diamond and they're very very steep but I would say a half a mile before I got to that last section, I fell. Now here's the crazy part. So I'm, I'm doing the drop, there's a bunch of tree stumps, and I'm going down the tree stumps, and one stump was so thick that as soon as my wheel hit it, it just came to a complete stop, I went over the handlebars. I mean, it was just no way, that I don't even know how you can go over that stump, unless you just, I, I don't know, maybe I wasn't going fast enough, I don't know. But when I went over the bars, the crazy thing is, is uh, it's funny when you get ready to fall, you, it seems like you have so much time to think about things because I could think about everything that was going through my mind. The first thing I thought was this is really going to hurt because everything around me was stumps. It was just big, thick tree stumps. And I knew from the height that I was, you know, going over the bars, this was going to hurt. I forgot my elbow pads. I forgot my knee pads. I know it, it's crazy. I always forget something. Uh, I'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, but I did have my uh, Tommy Lee body gear on. But the first thing I'm thinking of as I'm falling, this is going to hurt. Second thing I'm thinking of, I'm going to break my camera because I had the chest mount on. And uh, so, yeah, it was it was it, it did hurt. Don't get me long, wrong. I, I fell and it did hurt, but I was OK. I didn't get any scratches, no bruises, no blood bleeding. So uh, the bike was OK. I was OK. So, hey, thank God for that. Uh, the next thing is, um, you know, it takes a lot of preparation to, to, to film this stuff. And the battery went dead right around mile five, five and a half. So I had another battery, but um, I was just trying to actually just hurry up and get out of there because I was, I was racing the sun at that point in time. I didn't want to get stuck out of there. So I really didn't care about filming everything else at the end. But I think I got a pretty good footage. Um, but... Uh, at the end, when I got back to the car, 
um, I'm getting ready to change the battery to do my final review like I'm doing today I put my memory card on the dash of my car somehow some way I don't know I guess a breeze blew through or something and it blew my memory card down in the section where the front window is on my truck and it got stuck in there but yesterday when I was trying to look for it I heard it slide I couldn't find it so the whole way home I got a 256 SD card in this camera and I just spent like I don't know 50 60 bucks for it and I'm like damn it my memory card is gone it had more footage of another trip on there I just lost out about sixty dollars and I this whole trip basically I, I lost as well as far as the footage is go, footage goes so I was I was disappointed I was getting ready to just forget YouTube like I was I was really upset yesterday more so disappointed than, than mad but just couldn't believe I just let that slide down the dash and get stuck in there but then I couldn't find it at all so I'm thinking it's like somewhere in the compartment world of the front of this truck and when I got home um, I shined the light in there and I was able to see this a tiny portion of it sticking out and I got some tweezers did a little finagling and 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 I was able to get it out so thank thank God for that as well so it was an interesting day yesterday uh, but overall that trail is very very fun here's the thing about filming this stuff that a lot of people if you don't do YouTube videos especially mountain bike videos and some of you may think well I'm always forgetting something because I am either my water bottle my um, pads knee pads or elbow pads or my gloves I'm always forgetting at least one item it is a production trying to do this stuff it's like you basically you get up I got to get the bike ready make sure the air is good in the tires I got to do just a double check of that I got to get you know make sure I eat something then I got to make sure I got the camera the batteries charged I got the memory card I got all my camera accessories I got to make sure I got the, the helmet the glove the headphones the sunglasses the I mean it's just a lot it's a lot that comes into this stuff and so when, when whenever you see a, a mountain bike video or just anyone just filming a sport it's not easy and a lot of times you know I try to to really just have fun on the trail I don't really want to think about the camera as much as is possible but you got to at times you got to make sure that you don't fall on it you got to make sure you you, you know that you're getting good footage you got to make sure that you got your chest strap you got the, um, the the little tripod thing that I carry around as well for other different types of shots it's just a lot of work and I always said that from this point on I was going to start doing the trail like riding it first and then filming it but this one if I would have did that I wouldn't have went back on that trail one I didn't have the daylight and two um, I just didn't have enough time and I was too tired because this this trail wore me out so anyway if you're ever in the Palm Coast area which is about maybe 15 minutes north no maybe 30 minutes north of Daytona Beach um, it's a very very good mountain bike park I highly recommend it had fun on it I definitely will be back on it but just be prepared that um, you're gonna have fun you're gonna go fast I mean there were some times where I was flying down this thing I was flying down this thing but anyway highly recommend guys I see you on the next trail be safe have a good week check you out next time peace